on the start to the Carol Lambert plane crash. Hopefully we can find it. Somebody already beat us up here. Yeah. Cause remember we cut across that little valley. I know. Boys, oh, it's really grippy. Just touch the better go. Damn backpack. To that point, right over there. Still got a little ways to go. City that's sleeping. We'll make our way down here <sighs> the descent down to the crash gotta just go down I think I gotta go down there then over you got red rock way over there that's where all the normal tourists are at up here all by ourselves. Oh yeah. Probably down below us. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there. Left and down. Hello. Oh, hey. <laughs> Coming down. <laughs> yeah, I think it's down here. Whew, shit. Just came all the way down that. All right. Hey, how's it going? Um, we're here at the uh, Carol Lombard aircraft plane crash site. Uh, this is a pretty popular uh, destination for people in the outdoors. But uh, this uh, this is the location where the uh, the transcontinental and Western Air DC-3 uh, from Las Vegas and uh, flew into the side of this cliff uh, right over here and. Uh, the navigation error. They uh, 
they uh, had the wrong, uh, flew the wrong uh, course. They were actually about seven miles off course. They should have been seven miles further to the uh, further to the uh, east, but uh, they took the wrong course and uh, ended up on the side of this cliff right here. The uh, the plane uh, was traveling about 200 uh, miles per hour when it hit the cliff. Uh, the right side of the fuselage uh, split and uh, all the contents in the fuselage, uh, seats, passengers, crew, all ended up into this ravine that you can see here. At the time, uh, in 1942, most of the wreckage was kind of contained in this area that we're standing in right here. About a, probably about a 50 foot radius. Uh, over time, the wreckage has kind of slowly moved down the uh, slope to almost, uh, I think, about 800 feet further down the slope. And, uh, little bits of recognizable debris, but a lot of it is, uh, is just uh, shredded aluminum. Um, some of it's very small. Little fragments like this. Uh, biggest fragment is probably... Uh, the landing gear, the engines, uh, all that is further downhill. There's a, another piece over here that's part of the, um, the autopilot uh, uh, mounts and everything for the autopilot system. The actuators for the autopilot are over there, about 50 feet away. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Um, the cliff is about 60 to 75 feet in height. Uh, a lot of the early newspaper um, accounts say the cliff is 500 feet, but you can see it's much shorter. Um, they would have had to have been uh, probably about uh, well over 500 feet to uh, clear the ridge if they were if they were going to try to clear it. So. The accident site here is about 7,800 feet, and their flight plan altitude was 8,000 feet. So they were right in the process of leveling off and when they when they hit the cliff. Of the plane, like the planetary gear set. Probably more for the prop. And that's where the plane hit. I had to hit pretty hard to bend all that. So, and that was right up there. Right at that cliff face. Crazy, the shocks are still somewhat polished first being up here for so long. More aluminum debris. There's aluminum everywhere. Due to the fact it was made almost completely out of aluminum. Like some kind of fuel pump, compressor. Something for the landing gear maybe. I don't know. What do you think?
fuel tank. More crumpled up pieces. And it looks like we're coming up on the other engine. I think that's probably the one that took the main impact. It was on the right wing. That's what I think it was. Let's go check it out and see. It's the other engine. And that one looked like it took way more of a beating than the other one. And it is way down here. I can't even see the cliff face from here. Let's see if I can get a view. Yeah, I can't even see it. So I'm gonna head back up to the top. I think I went down as far as I need to go. Looks like a pretty cool tank. I don't know if it was for the fire suppression system or what. Or at least at that time, they weren't used to modern amenities like yeah. we have now. You could just get a helicopter up here. Well, I guess they had those, but. Well, that, yeah, that's what they did with that, that small No. Yeah, no, after climbing down it, uh, there's no way I'd be able to climb up it. I've seen pictures of people. Uh -huh. it. It'd be like an all-day deal just to get to here, and then you'd be so dead you wouldn't have to do anything. <laughs> Tumbling down. Came from over there, coming around. Now we're still hiking to that point, right over there. I made it. Jeep's rolled down the hill. Mike's beast. 